the world of higher education is ever changing and SUNY is working to adapt. Sure are. As a way to be more military inclusive, News Channel 9's Adrian Smith tells us about a new program that's better preparing enlisted service members and veterans for a chance to get a degree. SUNY the past few months has been on a mission to become the most inclusive system for military connected individuals in the nation by the fall of 2021. There's a lot of people who are highly qualified, intelligent people that have a chance. All they need is that passport to have the opportunity. And that's exactly what SUNY Chancellor Jim Malatras is striving to create. More educational opportunities for veterans and active service members. We need to build around them, right? They often have families, they have responsibilities, they're still in the reserves, they get called up. And I think what we're trying to do is, how do we build programming around the lives of busy um, members coming back from the military? How do we lower the cost? This first ever pilot program launched last month as a way to better equip our heroes. The partnership between SUNY and the U.S. Naval Community College is driven by veterans and active service members from within the SUNY system. And right now, nearly 130 students are enrolled. We often haven't valued the military experience for college credit, right? You have prerequisites, you have AP courses coming from high school. But we often didn't give the same college courses, college credit for those military uh, members. There's a value in what they've learned in the military, electronics, engineering, service. We want to impose college credits on that experience so we can further lower the cost lower the time to get a college degree because they're going to be highly successful that way. Another push to ensure SUNY can be for all. Adrian Smith, News Channel 9.